the truth of the matter is nothing has changed because the positions that are being occupied by ODM before or subsequent to new nominees being uh, you know, processed to be members of the cabinet, they are the same positions which were occupied by ODM within the Azimio coalition. The seats that were retained for the other political parties within the coalition, including WIPA, including Ju Jubilee, those have remained uh, intact and there has been no change whatsoever. ODM has made it clear that uh, there is no coalition between ODM and uh, Kenya Kwanzaa. It is uh, individual members who have opted on account of being nominated to be members of the, ca of the uh, cabinet to take those positions. So ODM as part of the coalition remains uh, part of the minority party within the, co uh, within the National Assembly and in the Senate. One must always remember that within the coalition, ODM ha is by far uh, the largest party. It has got the largest stake uh, within the opposition coalition, within the uh, National Assembly and the Senate. Now, if you look at the rules of uh, the National Assembly, the standing orders, and those of the Senate, nomination in terms of seats on both sides of the House depends on the size of the political party. So within the coalition, whether in Kenya Kwanzaa or in, uh, uh, in Azimio, the same rules apply as lawyers who say mutatis mutandis. What is applied within the National Assembly and the Senate uh, prevail upon the manner in which individual members of uh, parties which belong to a coalition are given seats within the coalition. For example, we have also got members of the Azimio who are not parliamentary parties. Obviously, they cannot be given a slot within the leadership of the coalition, that is Azimio coalition, within parliament. I think it's subject to discussion, but it must reflect the strengths of the political parties. And that is not only in the standing orders, it is in the Azimio instruments that brought the parties uh, together. ODM has got to go through some restructuring, uh, some leadership uh, changes, obviously. But at the end of it all, Azimio, if it is not, uh, uh, you know, uh, distracted or if it does not collapse, they have to sit together. I know Raila is a party leader of Azimio, but the chairman of the council is uh, Uhuru Kenyatta. With the membership from various political parties, they'll have to sit down and make that determination. And I think the party leader made it clear many times that the road to any type of arrangement institutionally or organizationally will depend on the preconditions. They are the con condition precedent. Uh, that is, includes release of those who were arrested uh, for the demonstrations last year and this year and the uh, prosecutions must not be continued and other issues that relate to uh, uh, dealing with uh, you know cost of living the other issues that you know under nadco uh, you remember kenya kwanza was not very enthusiastic in addressing those those issues that is the pathway towards some structural discussion uh, between any side of the uh, political formations. Uh, but otherwise, without these preconditions being met, uh, it is difficult to say that uh, any organizational or structural process is going to be undertaken. Popularity of governors within their counties, I, I, I don't think it was performance-based, but one would not be popular or unpopular uh, if, let's say, the person who is popular is not meeting the demands uh, by the electorate, similarly, if uh, you're, you're, you're meeting the demands of the electorate, you become popular. I am happy that in the assessment, 
uh, in terms of uh, the popularity, popularity of individual governors, me included, uh, we are at number five, which is not a bad number out of 47, but our hope is that uh, we'll rise to the top. Secondly, I would like to see that Dari Paul and celebrate because he believed that these people they served God and they believed in God and they knew that he knew that Amen. 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 Amen.